probably go to Cabin Lake in Big Red. Welcome back to the channel. We uh, just got back from our second camping trip Yay. with Big Red. Had a great time, great weekend. So we want to talk a little bit about the campground that we stayed at and it's called Cabin Lake. Okay, we're about to head out. It's windy and it's getting chilly. Maybe perfect camping weather except for the wind. Actually have room to walk this time, unlike last time. Where's the switch? It is. Get our shower curtain up. So we are going to talk a little bit about the campground we stayed at. It is a Duplin County Park, which is in North Carolina, and it's called Cabin Lake. One thing I would like to say before we get into that is that Adam has been busting his butt the last couple of weeks trying to get this bathroom ready so we could go camping. Mm -hmm. and. I am so proud of him for all his hard work and amazed at all he did. I guess I never really thought about just how difficult it is to build a bathroom from scratch. And he did awesome and everything mostly worked this weekend. And it was super cool to have a bathroom. Well, thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Hmm. It was hard, but we got it going. <laughs> and mostly it worked. Mostly so, it did work. I'm kind of proud of it. I think you should be. It was yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. Tell them a little bit about the park. Uh, it's one of our favorite places to go that's local. It's less than an hour from us. So for us, that's pretty darn close. We usually have to travel a couple hours to get anywhere interesting that we really want to go. Yeah, yeah lots of fishing. There's a swim beach there in the summer. Of course, we did not use that. <laughs> no, it was a cold weekend. Which made me happy. It was a nice fall camping weekend. Yeah. And maybe not so much. Uh, so the camping loop, I think there's 14 sites maybe. Something like that. A lot of them are pretty tight. Probably only four. So a lot of them usually only have tents in them when we go. Yeah, a lot of the center sites yeah. have tents. But most of them will fit a small to medium sized camper pretty well and then there's two or three that we always try to get um, around the back side of the loop that are pretty spacious. We got our favorite site this time, site number 12. It's right in the corner, backs up to the woods, very private. Yeah, it's, it's off by itself and there's a 
I guess if you went and you got site 12, one thing to know is there is a path that goes all the way around the lake and the campground, and the path runs right beside your campsite. So, so you will have visitors. Yeah, it's private, but every now and again someone will walk down the path, but it's no big deal. And honestly, there, there aren't, even in the summertime, there aren't many people that walk by. It's not a real crowded place usually. No, no not at all. It's very nice, and we love it because we like to use the trails. Um, we like to ride our bikes on there. Not sure if that's completely okay. I've never seen a sign that says it's not okay and we've never been told any different. If you know different, let us know, but we like to ride our bikes around the lake. I did not see your sword. Here it is. Look, here's my sword. I like to fish even though I've never really had a lot of luck. I've had more luck from my kayak that I used to have um, and a canoe. Um, fishing around the little islands that are out in the lake. I've, I've caught a few bass around there. <clears throat> but as far as catching off the dock, I've, I've never had a lot of luck. But you'll catch a few every now and again, and it's just a beautiful place to stand out and fish anyway. Um, yeah. Yes, that's one thing we should mention. You can put your kayak or canoe in. Yeah, they have a boat ramp, but you only electric motors. Electric motors. Yeah. And then do they rent, I think they rent canoes they and they rent paddle boats. You can ride around the lake. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. We've done it before. Adam's done it a lot with his canoe. Yeah, it's okay. worth going to. It's, I mean, just to get away, just to see a beautiful place. You didn't really eat it. You didn't eat it, Alex? I didn't really eat it. I didn't really eat it. <laughs> did you just put it in the water? I did. I drank a little water. Long time's fishing. We are about six minutes into the fishing <laughs> trip. <laughs> and it's done. already over. <laughs> Hey, don't forget your worms, Daddy buddy. eating worms was the most exciting yeah. part of the six minute that. fishing trip. I don't want to fish. I just, uh. I mean, I don't want to fish. So, I just want to go. I don't want to go. Oh, yeah. How's it done? I'm going to catch you some big ones. Do it. Red drum right here. Nice. Or maybe a speckled drum. You have a red drum? Yeah. Oh! Oh, did you miss it? No, I didn't even apply. Let's talk about how Big Red did. Okay. Okay. Overall, I think he did really well. Yeah, overall, I think everything that we've done so far worked out well. The only thing that I was, I mean, not disappointed in, it, the countertop that we bought worked out really well. We did realize we need a lot of extra counter space, which we we have and we're ready to work on, um, and storage. So building counters and building, you know, counter space is going to be uh, it's going to probably be next. You know, we're not going to be working as hard as we have been the last two or three weeks. Uh, I can't do it for one. <laughs> uh, not with a full time job. I've got out. yeah. I, I've worn myself out working and working weekends, but uh. Anyway, we're going to be working on storage and countertops, but we bought these wood countertops. Basically, it's a, uh, a shelf, shelving, and then we coated it with shellac. And I thought it would hold up fairly well, but it some of the spots where we had like dish soap and hand soap, where water would stand underneath those, it's it's left like white marks. Yeah. So that didn't work really out well. It's beautiful, but, it's, but yeah. it's not going to be durable enough for us, I don't think. We're it's not going to hold up to our family. Some 
sort of other finish that we can put on yeah. it, unfortunately. So yeah, we're going to be looking for a more durable finish that we can use. Um, if you have any ideas, let us know. Please. That's the shower worked. The shower worked really well. Our gray tanks filled up um, the first, not the first night, the second night. We would used a lot of water. Yeah, we weren't. We as were kind of wasteful this careful time. Careful as we should have been. We cook a lot and we wash a lot of dishes, and we definitely did this time. And man, we used way too much water. Um, there are not. They do not have full hookups at these sites, so that's something to be aware of. And the dump station is not the, the dump, most. Yeah, I'd say that's easiest to access. Yeah, I'd, but the dump tank's on the wrong side on your way out. And that's pretty annoying. But at your site, you have a 30 amp, and you'll have water. There's a whole lot of new here. We're trying to trying to learn, and I mean, I didn't think it was half bad. We didn't do too bad. I didn't think. No. Um, the hot water heater was a little strange. That's gonna that's gonna take a learning little learning curve there. It did work really well, though. I loved it in the shower. Yes, Holy we cow. all took a shower, all one back after to back. each other, which is probably part of the reason that the tank <laughs> filled up. It is, but, but it worked so. We've yeah, never we been able to do that in any camper we've, we've had. We never ran out of hot water, so yeah. that was awesome. So, if you're going to Cabin Lake and you're going camping, take an extra water hose. Uh, mm. On top of your normal water hose, whatever you're taking, you need to have like at least 100 feet. I mean at least. As you are sharing a water pedestal with your neighbor. And that's not a huge deal. Make sure you take a three-way uh, water hose, three-way valve thing. Three-way finger? <laughs> a water sharer valve. <laughs> Take one of those water hose things that has the Y on it with the valves. There you go. That's and it. an extra water hose. So cab we love Cabin Lake. We love going there. Just be prepared for the few little quirks that it has. Nothing major. If you have a large camper, large trailer, you know, be prepared for some of the quirks. If you have a smaller camper, you're good to go. Take extra water hose, dump tanks on the wrong side. What are we going to do this bad boy next? Hmm. Well, we talked about more counter space. Definitely. More counter space, more storage. Got to finish our sink in our bathroom. We didn't have a sink this time. We did have a sink. We did a kitchen. kitchen sink, but not a <laughs> bathroom sink. So we got to finish our bathroom. We're going to finish the bathroom up. I'd like to get paneling on the outside of the bathroom so we can build your barn door because I have all the slider and the components to build it. So exciting. So we've got to figure out our barn door for the outside so we don't have a curtain there. That's not very private at all. <laughs> really weird. The kids <laughs> like to stick their heads in, laugh and giggle while you're using the bathroom. Not fun. So that's one thing I would like to upgrade. Oh, mini split. The mini split. It did really good. So we mounted the mini split above the door because we knew we were going to have a bathroom there. So yeah, we decided to put the mini split there so it would blow into the bathroom and keep that cooled and heated. And then also it would hopefully get air into the front and the back. Um, and it did really good. It, it kept everything in here pretty warm, especially yeah. for a 40 degree night, which we were not expecting. And if you guys have any questions about anything we're doing or if it's working or how, just like that comment I got, how's the mini split doing? Is it is it consistently heating and cooling? And I mean, we love that, man. That's cool. It's fun to help people out that may be trying this on out later. It's been fun. It was a good weekend. Had a lot of fun. We appreciate you guys watching, and we appreciate everyone subscribing. We hit 50 while we were on our trip. Yay! And Thank uh, you guys. I think right now at this moment at the end of the weekend we're at 54 which is so cool yay that just makes us so excited it really does so yeah, and it just tell, gives us motivation to yeah. keep keep on making videos so, peace out guys oh thanks for watching <laughs> so what do you think about cabin lake good what's your favorite part um The playground. The playground was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Some pretty sweet spots to ride your bike too, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. I like every part of um 
What is it called? It's called Cabin Lake. I like every spot of Cabin Lake. It's a pretty cool place, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think of this cold weather? Mm -hmm. Not your favorite, huh? <laughs> Have to wear a shirt. Yeah. That's pretty bad, huh?